Hey everyone, my name is Kit. I am here to do, would you believe, a Gen X reading. Gen X tarot reading for all you Gen Xers out there. I don't see many Gen X readings, if any at all, so I'm sure they're out there, but I thought, why not? Let's do it, right? All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. Universe Guides, Angels, and Spirits, what's going on with my Gen Xers? What do they need to know? What do they need to know, please? Gen X, please. All of my beautiful subscribers and Gen Xers out there. What do they need to know? There we go. Blossoming Abundance. Let's get another card. What else, please? What else, please? And all tied up. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have attachment. So here's where I'm going with this. Here's what I'm feeling with this. You know, we all want to be happy. We all want that, um, you know, things to run smoothly, have the money, have the objects, whatever the case may be. But we're not feeling like we can get to that point. This is card 23. That breaks down to five and five is all about change. So I feel like that feeling of lack or that feeling that you're getting that you can't get from point A to point B or have some of the things that you're wanting, that's coming to an end. I really feel like things are starting to change, turn around for you. Let's face it, nobody really has it easy these days, do they? Um, so let's see what's going on. What else, please, for my Gen X people? What else? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Thank you. Okay. All right, it says work through your fears. Work through your fears. What are you afraid of? There's, there's something that you're afraid of moving forward. You're afraid of maybe taking that step. There's a certain step that you want to take to get to this point. Maybe it's slightly risky, something like that. Spirit is saying to work through those fears and perhaps try to figure out a way that you can do it a little more comfortably that where you can get to that point. Make those changes perhaps that you need to make to get to that point. I feel like for some of you, um, you have everything you, you need to get there, but you're just, you don't want to take that risk. You don't want to take that step, right? Let's see what else. We're going to go into tarot now. Spirit, what about my Gen Xers, please? What do they need to know right now? What do they need to know? Gen Xers, please. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah. We have this offer, right? We have this offer coming in, and it could be something so wonderful. Could be family involved, who knows, children involved, a new home perhaps. But we have the Knight of Swords, and sometimes the Knight of Swords will act before thinking, a little bit reckless, right? wanting to move forward but but going so fast not really putting on the brakes to get all the information he needs to get and no gender in tarot guys it's the energy underneath the deck we have the ten of swords so there's been a painful past for a lot of us um, and a lot of you right there's been a painful past and that could be the fear the fear of getting hurt again, not wanting to take that risk or that chance because you're afraid of getting hurt one more time. But let's get some clarifiers here. Let's see what this offer is all about. Ace of Pentacles, why is that here? Please, Spirit, for my collective, for my Gen Xers. <laughs> all right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is a long time coming, people. This is a long time coming. There we go. We have the Four of Wands. Again, that talks about maybe a new home, perhaps a move. This could be some type of uh, celebration, right? A big change. And one more card, please. This one. 
the Hierophant, wanting to upgrade. Some of you want to upgrade, some of you want to have it better, right? You may be going to someone to ask them for help, someone above you, an uncle, a parent. I don't know why uncle stood out, but there's somebody that you may be going to. And take it as it resonates, okay? Underneath the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. There's that fear, that fear of it not working out and you being kind of, you know, left out and, and it not working and you being on your own or, or not having what you need. This Ten of Cups, why is that here, please? Why is that here from my Gem Xers? If this is something that you, um, if this type of reading is something you enjoy, let me know and I will continue. It's This is like a test. All right, now we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is very precise. The King of Pentacles is the slowest king in tarot, but the King of Pentacles is the most precise and gets the job done and accurately. All right. So with the King of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Empress. So Spirit is saying, now is the time. We're in the current energy. Now is the time to take control. Ask what you really want. Ask for what you really want. We have the Queen of Swords. Be precise. Speak your mind, right? This has been a long time coming, but make sure you have all the information. The Queen of Swords speaks the truth, speaks her thoughts, and the Empress pretty much wants for nothing. The Empress says, I would like this, and she gets it. And again, no gender, it's the energy. So this Knight of Swords, what is that all about, please? The Knight of Swords can be reckless at times. The Knight of Swords is a, a doer without, a, without being the thinker first at times. Why the Knight of Swords, please? Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the King of Wands. Yes. So, you know, there... You want to move forward. We have the Ace of Wands. This is in the future position. So I do see that something new is coming in for you. We do have the King of Wands as well. And that's great. You know, you have the thoughts. You have the ideas. You have that passion, right? But I feel like you don't always give it your all because you're holding yourself back. So Spirit is saying... Perhaps look at things differently. Use your intuition. Uh, don't jump into things without thinking about them first. And I really feel that down the road, it will work out for you. Let me get one more card here. Spirit, the outcome, please, for this situation. We just had a flyer. I'm going to grab it. One more card, perhaps. Nope. Okay. So the outcome spirit is saying here, you and your loved ones are safe. So whatever fear you have about moving forward, spirit is saying not to worry. They have your back. They have your back. And if you do things without doing them recklessly and putting thought into it and putting your heart and soul into it, tr that should diminish some of the fears that you guys have been having regarding whatever this situation is. So, my beautiful Gen Xers, I love, love, love you guys. There's your reading, what you need to know right now. If you like this, let me know. I'll continue it, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.